You've seen the memes. You've heard the legends. They say this animal attacks lions, eats cobras for breakfast, and simply does not care. But internet fame is only half the story. Behind the attitude is an evolutionary masterpiece, a creature with skin like a tactical vest, claws like industrial tools, a brain built for problem solving, and a resistance to venom that still leaves scientists scratching their heads. Today, we're not just looking at viral clips. We're breaking down the biology behind the toughest animal on Earth. This is the honey badger, the name behind the monster. First, let's get the name right. Scientists call it Melivora capensis, the honey eater of the cape. But in many parts of the world, it goes by another name, the rattle. It might look like a skunk that's been hitting the gym, but it actually belongs to the mustelid family, the same group as otters, weasels, and wolverines. And just like its cousins, it is fearless. Unlike them, it prefers to walk alone. Honey badgers roam a huge range, from the burning sands of the Kalahari Desert to the woodlands of East Africa, from the savannas of India all the way to the foothills of Nepal. They don't just survive environments, they dominate them. Skin like a suit of armor. If you ever tried to grab a honey badger, you'd notice two things immediately. One, you've just made a terrible mistake. Two, its skin is incredibly thick and loose. Around the neck, the skin is up to six millimeters thick, rivaling the hide of large mammals. But the real magic is the looseness. Because the skin isn't firmly attached to the muscle, the badger can literally twist inside it. If a lion bites down, the badger can spin 180 degrees, turn around within its own skin, and bite the predator's face. It transforms a defensive bite into an offensive counterattack. Weapons built in. Now look at the claws. Short, curved, brutally strong. These are digging machines. In captivity, badgers have ripped apart wooden enclosures, torn through packed earth, and even damaged thin concrete flooring. They dig burrows, break open beehives, and tear into termite mounds like biological jackhammers. The Cobra Problem. But what if the enemy isn't a lion? What if it's a cobra? Yes, honey badgers hunt some of the most venomous snakes on Earth. And no, they are not magically immune. Instead, they carry a genetic superpower. Snake venom, especially cobra venom, works by attaching to receptors in muscles, shutting down communication between the brain and the body. But the honey badger has evolved a mutation in its nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. This mutation changes the electrical charge of part of the receptor, making it extremely difficult for venom's neurotoxins to bind. The result? The venom's effects are dramatically reduced. A badger might get bitten, stumble, even pass out for an hour, but then it wakes up, shakes it off, and finishes eating the snake that tried to kill it. That is not luck. That is evolution weaponized. But strength alone doesn't make the honey badger dangerous. Intelligence does. For their size, honey badgers have impressively developed brains, especially the parts related to memory, 
and problem solving. Nothing proves this better than Stuffle, the world famous Honey Badger Houdini. He escaped by unlocking latches. When keepers changed the locks, he used sticks. They took away the sticks, he rolled rocks into a ladder. They removed the rocks, he stacked mud balls to climb out. They removed those, he found a garden rake and used it as a tool. This is true tool use, a behavior we usually associate with chimpanzees and crows, not mustelids. In the wild, honey badgers in India have even been filmed rolling logs to reach trapped prey. This is not a reckless animal. This is a strategist. The Honey Guide Myth Now let's talk about a legend. You may have heard that honey badgers team up with the honey guide bird. The story goes that the bird leads the badger to a hive, the badger breaks it open, and they share the honey. Is it true? Well, partially. The bird definitely guides humans. That's proven science. But honey badgers? Most researchers have never seen the partnership in action. Honey badgers are mostly nocturnal. Honey guides work in daylight. Their schedules don't match. But in certain regions, especially parts of Tanzania, locals swear they have witnessed the cooperation. So the story might be true, just not universal. A rare behavior, not a rule. The true reason it survives. From its armor-like skin, to its venom-resistant nervous system, to its lock-picking, tool-using brain, the honey badger is more than a meme. It is a biological fortress. It survives because it refuses to quit. It fights predators that should be able to kill it. It protects its young with legendary ferocity. It fears nothing. If the honey badger teaches us anything, it's this. Toughness isn't about size. It's about adaptation, attitude, and a very, very thick skin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more deep dives into nature's most incredible creatures.